what's up? My name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to optimize Lost Ark to get the best FPS possible. Of course, more than likely, you'll be looking at this video on really low-end computers, as higher-end computers don't seem to struggle that much with this game, other than in super busy combat. So, how exactly do we do it? Well, of course, I'll be running through a couple of different things in this video, though it's not going to cover absolutely everything. In the description down below, you'll find Windows 10, Windows 11, and NVIDIA optimization guides for both of them to get even more out of your computer. I'd highly recommend checking those out when you're done with this guide here if you haven't already. So first of all, all we have to do is update Windows and your graphics card driver if you haven't already done that. You should do this as a best practice with every new game that comes out for the best possible FPS. When you've done that, all we'll have to do is locate where the game is installed. As far as I know, this game's only released through Steam, so in that case, open up Steam, right-click Lost Ark, hover over Manage, and click Browse Local Files. When the new file browser opens up, you'll see two different folders in the Lost Ark folder. Open up a Binaries, then Win64, and what we're looking for is LostArc.exe. When you've found this, right-click and click Properties, and inside of this window here, head across to the Compatibility tab, we will make sure Disable Full Screen Optimizations is unticked, then click Change High DPI Settings, and make sure that the bottom tick box is checked, Application is selected, OK and OK. Now, before you close this window here, right-click at the very top and click Copy Address as Text. Now, we'll be making sure that the game's running on the correct graphics card in our computer, as well as a couple of other things. Hit Start and type in GPU, we will be opening Graphics Settings. Inside of this new window, make sure that Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling is turned on, and under Graphics Performance Preference, select Desktop App, and then click Browse. Click in any open space at the top, hit Ctrl-V to paste, and then hit Enter. Double-click on LostArc.exe, and LostArc Client should be added to your list. Click Options and choose High Performance, then Save. When you're done with that, hit the Home button at the very top and we'll be heading into the Gaming section. Of course, this will be slightly different on Windows 11. Inside of the Xbox Game Bar tab, make sure to turn this off unless you specifically use some of these features, then head across to Game Mode. Make sure that this is turned on. Then, if you're someone who's previously used the Xbox Game Bar, the Captures tab is usually where you'd turn off a feature, like in Video Shadow Play, but it's in the Xbox app. Basically, it constantly records your screen and gives you a buffer to save a couple of minutes in the past. Of course, we don't want something constantly recording our screen as that will affect our FPS, especially if you're not using it. If you have used this in the past or you have used the Xbox Game Bar, it's a good idea to make sure that it's disabled. Hit Start and type in Xbox, we will be opening the Xbox Game Bar. Inside of here, click the Settings wheel at the very top and then choose the Capturing section and make sure Record in the background while I'm playing a game is unticked. Then click anywhere to close it. Now that we're done with this, we'll quickly clear out some extra hard drive space. Hit Start and type in Cleanup. We'll be running Disk Cleanup as Administrator. When it opens up, choose C Drive and click OK. Then wait for it to scan for temporary and leftover files on your computer and simply tick as many things as you're comfortable with in here. I usually tick everything except for a cycle bin, which I'll manually go through later, and the thumbnails here I would leave unticked if you work with a lot of image files on your computer. Click OK, delete files, and wait for all of these temporary files to be cleaned up off of your computer, saving you a couple of megs to a couple of gigs of hard drive space. When this is complete, if you have more than one hard drive or SSD on your computer, rinse and repeat for those other drives, just selecting D or whatever drive it is instead of C in the first pop-up on this process. When it's done, we'll be running through setting up a Windows Power Plan. Now, of course, if you're watching this video, it's more than likely going to be on a lower-end PC or a laptop, for example, and oftentimes you'll have power-saving power plans selected by default. We're going to go ahead and select the highest performance power plan available, though if you do use your laptop or whatever on battery, do remember to change back to power saving or whatever it was previously when you're done playing the game. Hit start and type in power plan, we will be opening choose a power plan. Inside of here, if you have AMD Ryzen high performance or another specific performance plan for your processor, select that and use that. Otherwise, if you see high performance, select that for the best possible performance on your computer. Now, of course, if you'd like to go a step further, there is a hidden Ultimate Performance Power Plan included in all Windows installs. All you have to do is activate it. In the description down below, you'll find a command you can copy and paste. Hit Start, 
type CMD and run command prompt as administrator. Inside of here, we'll be pasting the command in and hitting enter. Then refreshing the power options window over here, you should see that the ultimate performance plan is then available. You can click it and activate it. That way you should get even more out of your computer. Now that we're done with that, there's not really much else we want to do. Of course, if you haven't already, do check the description down below for the Windows 10, 11 and NVIDIA optimization guides to get even more out of your computer. From here on, we'll be customizing the in-game options, so I'll be firing up the game itself. So with everything on high, playing at 2K on a 1080 Ti, I'm averaging around 95-96 FPS in this area over here. So with a good starting point, let's get into optimizing the actual game itself. In the bottom right, I'll click Services, then Game Menu, Escape, or simply hit Escape, and choose Settings. Inside of here, we get to change most of the settings for the game. First of all, DirectX Settings. What do we pick? DirectX 9 or 11? Well, this depends on your hardware. If you have hardware older than hmm, 5 or so years, you should pick DirectX 9. Otherwise, pick DirectX 11 for better performance. Then, resolution should match the resolution of your display, and the screen should be set to full screen. When that's done, click Apply, your screen may go black, and then choose OK. Now, you should already be getting some better FPS. As you can see, I've jumped all the way up to 128 in the background there. You should get much better performance in full screen mode. Aspect ratio, lock cursor, and screen brightness are all your preference, so you don't need to worry about that. Scrolling down further, we have screen effects settings. These are all things that should be lowered for better FPS, and that's really about it. The lower you push these settings, the better your FPS should get. So 130 on very high, cranking it down, apply 140-ish on high, further down 160 on medium, further down low 180 or so FPS. Already a lot better. Now, of course, you may want to crank up some of these things, such as, say, texture quality, which will use more VRAM, though shouldn't really cost you extra performance. As you can see, I'm still sitting at around 170, but the ground and everything looks a lot better. My FPS may have dropped slightly. The shadow quality will definitely cost you FPS, character quality as well as it's animated, and the particle quality is definitely something that will cause you to lose frames in certain situations, especially boss fights and things like that with tons of particles flying around. And the aliasing is something you should definitely leave on inactive, which is off, unless you absolutely can't handle jagged edges around objects and other things in games. In that case, crank it up to low, otherwise things may look blurry higher up. Of course, it is asking me to restart my game, so assuming when I do, I should get even more FPS. Scrolling down further, there's a better depth of field, which I simply have off, as depth of field isn't really something you could be focusing on unless it's in close talking situations, in which case you may as well enable this as it's not really going to come up elsewhere. Better depth of field is something that's really your preference. It's not going to have any effect on the game having it on or off here. It's only really applied when you're talking to people and the background is blurred. Indirect shadows should be off for better FPS and auto optimization at the very bottom here dynamically changes the game's settings to give you better FPS. Here you can simply crank it to better performance and the game will actively make itself look worse when there's lots going on and it needs more FPS. Down here at post-processing, you should turn all of these off, especially motion blur, and that should give you better performance and better visibility when you're running around. The HUD size adjustment is simply user preference. Now this is off center and I'll never find the center again. Anyways, video settings we have completely covered. Audio, there's nothing you really need to change here, other than maybe these settings over here to better hear things in game. It's very nice that they include buttons to disable them entirely. This way you can turn up dialogue, turn down ambient noise, etc. if you're having issues with hearing any of those. Scrolling down, the only thing you may want to focus on down here is the voice chat options. You can change the volume here and your microphone volume and change the voice input mode from always on to preferably push to talk. That way you're not going to be talking to your friends in Discord and the entire world will hear you here or just your party. I'm not too sure how this works. I don't have anyone to test this with. Accessibility, community, these settings over here, gameplay, hotkeys, and finally gamepad are of course all user preference and shouldn't have any effect on the FPS of your game. So I'm now sitting at around 180 FPS. Running around it's only dropping slightly with the little particle effects from my mouse and things changing. There's a definite dramatic improvement here, 
and hey, you've accomplished exactly what you were hoping for. With the texture quality set nice and high, things look nice and crispy, I can see what's going on, and it really doesn't look that bad, and I've gained quite a bit of FPS in the meanwhile. So anyways, that's really about it for this video. Thank you all for watching, my name is Techno here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!